All right, good. Because, right. you know, this is a TDH ASMR video here. I'm so sorry, <laughs> Philip. That was not my idea. All right, ready? <laughs> yeah. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another video. A little bit different scenery for this one. I don't have this good lighting and we're in a weird room because the other room can't be used at the moment, but that's fine. Uh, regardless, we're here because we're opening Stride deck sets, Shirinui and Luard. And we're going to try to make a ASMR. Not really, no. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Listen, we would need to get another whole microphone set up just to be like the tapping little thing. Hold on. Give me oh, this. Oh, God. <laughs> He's just going to crinkle the oh, uh, still yeah. thing over yeah, the mic. <laughs> Uh, but yes, yeah, so we're going to open these and see what's inside. These are the base ones. Um, they did change them a little bit from the last one. So we get a little bit more. They're technically the same. I, yeah, I have no idea what Japan got. All I know is we're getting this. Um, from the last ones. Uh, so let's open them up and see what's doing. Which one do you want to open first? Uh, so well, since you're mainly playing Sharanui, you should do Sharanui and I'll do Lord. All right, we'll do Lord first. Oh yes, package for Mr. Top Deck Heroes. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Mr. Top Deck Heroes. Ah, Mr. Top Deck Heroes, package. Man, another one? What is with this guy? Mr. Top Deck Heroes. Again. Oh, well it again. Mr. Top Deck Heroes. Oh, package. Oh, God. Thank you. That heavy. What's in that one? Oh, it's training cards. Cards? Was every one of them cards? Yeah. How can you afford that? Oh, that's interesting you say that. I got, I got it from this life of it. Secret. Man, these people are crazy. It's no secret. 50 cards. Use code TDHEROES for a discount. Uh, Philip will do editing magic somewhere around this. Yes. So let's go ahead and open this. Editing magic, he says. <laughs> Editing magic, you know. Um, so the cool thing about these versus the Japanese ones, um, so, or not the Japanese ones, so the, the previous Stride Dex that's before came with fighter coins, the acrylic fighter coins. Uh, we no longer have the acrylic fighter coins. Aw, kind of sad about that. Instead, they gave us character sleeves for the deck I'll in the box. Way. So you, you can go ahead and sleeve your deck in, as you open it. Oh, nice. Kater Sanctuary, mm -hmm. Shadow mm -hmm. Paladin. So the deck holders are still the same as the previous ones. Um, they're still the same logo, still the same design. Well, we can see it right here. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. This, so, this is the sleeves we're talking about. Yes. And surprisingly, I don't. I think it's only the Lord one. I don't know if the Shinui one's the same way. In Japan, there was two different sleeves, one for the standard one and one for the premium one. So, but in this, in English, we got the premium sleeves for both the premium deck set and the regular. Oh, okay. Because the other one had like a whitish, like kind of like a baby blue border around the edge yeah. instead of that navy color. Uh, but apparently those, those are the same sleeves in both of them for the English. Here, I'll put this over to the corner. I don't know what corner is that. You can just put it on for Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> So how many sleeves come in the, this pack? So 53. 53. Yep. And unironically enough, there is it is still a legal, legal, legal playable deck out of the box. Legal, illegal playable deck. You'll 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 understand when we get there. It is an illegal, okay, so legal playable deck. <laughs> 53. That means it's not enough. 53 means it is enough. Because it's a 50 card main deck and then four. Yeah, you don't have ride. enough for your stride deck or your ride deck, but you do have enough for your main deck. Correct. Do you have 50 enough for your main deck? You just don't have enough for like make it your main deck and the right line. But you, mean you didn't have that before, but true, true. Because you still had to sleeve your G zone anyways. Yeah. But it is nice that well, they gave you sleeves. Correct. Well, I prefer fighter counters, but you know, here and there. So let's open this up. Oh, look at that. No. Yeah. Slide down, slide down. There we go. Slide down. There we go. 
Oh, so that's nice. Let's start it off with Lou Art, the OG. OG himself. But the new art. I kind of, I do like the new art. Yeah, I do like the new art. The nice little dark green. Mm. So, um, But as usual, the regular ones only come with one hollow, so the mm -hmm. rest are common. Which isn't bad. If I want more shiny, then I can get more shiny. Yeah. And uh, then we have the grade two of the ride line. We have fall. Fall. And then the uh, 30 plus dollar car that everybody's wanting. Oh, it went down. <laughs> it went down. I thought it were 50s. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And of course, the starter. Uh, so at least your ride line is all yes, foil. Your ride line is all foil and your crest is foil. So your entire ride deck can be foiled. So I'm okay with that. If you want more foil, then I can deal with that later. And unlike Shirinui, Luard, it doesn't matter so much because you get the ride for free. So you're not going to be striding to Luard's, but you still need your Luard's. Well done. True. Probably. True. But it turns out we also get three of the uh, secondary grade three. <laughs> yeah. Camera focus. Yes. So one of them is uh, shiny as well. Mm -hmm. Then Morphessa's. Which is a pretty good key card of the deck. Yes, pretty good key card. OG and even original. Same thing, three copies and then one. Um, they did change your effect from the OG though. It's not on hit, it's at the at wooded attacks. I believe so. Uh, when there's even attacks on your, yeah. Which but, is much better. But the only downside is, is they have to have two face up cards in G zone. It's not GB2. So first try, you can't do it. To yeah, it's not GB2, but GB2. Then Ezra's, I probably will pick up more shiny boots. I mean, the good thing is, is because of premium, most people are going to be buying the base version of the deck just for the grade one and don't care about the rest of the deck. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be, like, yeah, there's going to be say, there's, you probably could, if you're one of those that wants to foil at your deck, but you don't want to get a premium deck set, you can probably do it for under like $30. Yeah, it's probably you can probably skip up, skip up the, mm -hmm. the foils pretty cheap off. For and most people we're going to need to run, you know, two more. You're only going to run three because the fourth one's going to be an LM Tario anyways. Yeah, exactly. So I'm not necessarily too worried about that. Abyssal Owl. They change his effect very, very differently. Mm. Uh, yeah, so he's not like the other ones. Um, you can discard him when you have the crest to search a Luard. Mm -hmm. um, and then on top of that, you can drop zone if you uh, I think it's like a ritual. Uh, it's ritual three, but you got to bind him. So. Yeah, you have to bind a, a copy of it and itself to counter charge one at the end of the turn. Yeah, virtual active. Well, not until the end of the turn, just to charge one. Is it? Yeah. It is. No turn. Oh, at the end of the turn. Oh, okay, at the end of the turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, that'd be kind of broken. I uh, know, I know. And then one of the main key cards. Yes, so uh, Silas. Um, it's similar and different from its old old version. It's when it's placed, you get to look at the top two and call one, and it dies in the turn, whatever you call. And then ritual, you get to get a plus two. Mm -hmm. Just not those thing. Nice little defensive card right here. Uh, yeah, just a uh, 10k interceptor, grade one. Mm -hmm. Leave on the front row if you need to. Or 10k shield, I mean. Yeah. Um, this grade one's new. Yeah, this one is a new one. This is a completely different one, but it's a really good card, actually. Yeah, so it's GB1, Ritual 3, on place gets plus 10. And then if it's retired by your Vanguard ability, I don't want to say. Uh, it just is during your turn. Oh, during your turn. turn? Yeah. Uh, it gains, you can give your Vanguard plus 5, and you may still charge 1. Mm -hmm. As long as you have the Lord Crest. Yes. And then for the triggers, you got uh, Kater Trigger, which, let's be real, everybody's going to swap that out. Yep. Then... Four crit. Yep. Four draw. Three draw, my bad. Yep, three draw. Four front. Yep. Four heal. And then the really nice stuff right here. Yes. So, um, see if you can flip it around. Let's talk about drag driver first versus drag strider. Drag driver. Right there. There you go. I'll show you that here in a second. Yep. So the first stride you're gonna get is basically drag driver. It got reworked completely. So now it's on attack, ritual three, counter blast one, flip a card in G zone, search your deck for a card with a ritual ability, call it to rear guard. Um, and yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much it. Short, well, short, sweet, simple. Yeah, but you get three of the regular version and then one of the trial deck version. So the SP. Yeah, SP version, which is really nice. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. The texture is really nice. Mm -hmm. And it's really nice seeing the full art of that too. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I may pick up one more. <laughs> <laughs>
And then we got to have Drag Strider, which also got a rework. Um, it's now whenever it attacks, you have to discard a Luard, but you can cheat it in anyway. So it doesn't yeah, matter. Like, it's not getting it hard. Yeah, you're, you're never going to pay the cost for Strider for that. Um, anyways, but his skill is Ritual 7. Uh, whenever it attacks, you can give it plus, t if you have five units with Ritual, including itself, um, you can give it plus 10 and a crit, and then you can sack two rear guards, discard a card, the card with Luard and card name, give it an extra drive, and your opponent cannot guard with grade ones or greater. Mm hmm. So, in most decks, most people only run one Nell and Tara Sank too. That's usually their one saving grace mm -hmm. if they don't have it. Or if they soul charge it. Or if they soul charge it, or mm. whatever reason, uh, they better hard guard like crazy. Yeah. And then, of course, the three, and then the yes, SB. That. That's actually really nice. Mm -hmm. Full art is beautiful. Beautiful. I like how it makes a little green of it, it makes like a little V, like the Batman sign. Mm -hmm. Then we have the main thing that everybody wants. Anyways, anyways, uh, this is your gonna be your uh, your Luard crest. Gives your Luard, makes your Luard 13k. Um, the whole face up 5k to your front row for each face up card in your G zone. Um, but it's uh, you can only ride Luards. Um, but the key part about this is the last ability, which is different from the rest, which is if you end of your turn, if you stride without paying the cost, you can choose a critical trigger from your drop zone and put it to the bottom of your deck. Mm hmm. Because that was the one of the OG effects of Belial L, the mm -hmm. crit triggers for Shinra Noe. So yeah. they, they had to figure out some way to bring it back. And nah, I actually kind of like that. Kind of sad that you have to do the moment you do stride. So if you stride first, if you go second, the whole thing. Yeah, if you go, if you go second and you discard for because you have to discard for stride, you can't yeah. ritual to stride on the first grade three turn. Um, you won't get the last ability off, but later in the game, yeah. you can keep doing it. You keep activating the large ritual, you'll keep getting the put crit triggers back. Mm -hmm. And as we can tell from like other real soon to be releases in Cater Sanctuary, you know, apparently we really like crits. Yeah, really like crits. <laughs> <laughs> but besides that, we also get three other of the grade two red line. And and uh, this is what I mean by the deck is legal and what is not legal. Because before, um, whenever you had these stride deck sets, they give you these as options for if you want to put more of these in a deck versus something else, but it's already a pre-constructed 46 card deck without your ride line. But because they gave you the flex spot of these cards and giving you four copies of them, you technically have a 50 card deck out of the box. <laughs> 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 so out of the box, these are technically legal, legal as long as you sleeve everything in them. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. I, mean, I don't think that wasn't your intention, but I don't think, yeah, I think no, it's it was, funny. I don't think it was our intention, like, but maybe it was. Maybe it kind of was because they were needing, okay. But that would mean back whenever we got Messiah and Jet, that they were always intending for it to go back to food because they did the same thing with this. True, true. I mean, there's possible. There's always, always a possibility they could have thought of that beforehand. But yeah, that was Luard uh, for the stride deck set, uh, the basic one. We don't have any premiums, unfortunately, but that's fine. Um, so next we will open up the Shiranui Strike deck set. The new king of meta. Le meta. And why you say this is meta king? Because it wasn't that meta before. I'll explain to you why as we open oh, it. Was, it was meta when it came out. So just like the Luard box, it is packaged the same way. I do like the black and purple scheme. I will say that. Yeah, the purple scheme, nice. But starting inside the box, same thing. We have the, the Shirinui sleeves. This is what I was talking about, like Luar yeah. like this in the uh, in Japan for the oh, regulars. Yeah. But it get the black version like this in the premium. Oh, okay. But they switched it for English, so I guess and these are going to be also the same ones inside the premium. They're not going to have the black bordered ones, like the navy blue, like these, which that, is kind of sad because I do that leave like blue the or dark purple. purple. Is that, is that, that's like light purple, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a lavender purple, but it's still nice regardless. It's nice they gave us sleeves and it, and they're hollow sleeves. They're not common sleeves, so. And then, which means I still want to oversleeve them. Yes, you're still going to want to oversleeve these sleeves. Um, so we'll start opening up Shiranui. 
And we'll start with the OG got King himself, Shiranui Obro. Uh, still the same skill. Uh, if at the beginning of your ride phase, you can choose one card from your opponent's drop zone, call it to a rear guard, and at the end of the turn, it dies. Um, and then Dominate, which uh, the, whenever you strike and choose one of your opponent's rear guard, stand it, dominate it, and at the end of the turn, it gains power plus four, and it attacks one of your other your opponent's other units. Uh, for those who are new to Vanguard and have only been playing standard, uh, over, uh, Dominate means that you take control of the circle and the rear guard that it's on, and it becomes yours until the end of that battle after it attacks. And then after it attacks, it's back to theirs. Yeah. So it's basically change your heart of the deck. But you do get a foil copy of that and three other common copies of Obero. Then we have Genkai, your grade two of your red line, which says that whenever you stride on top of them, that you can call this card to rear guard. And if you do, you can soul charge one and choose it to one card from your opponent's drop and then call it to their rear guard circle. And uh when this unit uh, unit dominated by you attacks, you can counter blast one and give the attacking unit plus 10 until the end of the battle and give this unit boost. Depending on your deck build, you'll probably never be running this and be running um, Soji Doji Grade 2 instead. But that's up to your building preference. Yeah, that's what we're uh, Next, we've got uh, another $50 Suzette. card. This is the card that will give you your crest whenever you ride. And then next, we got Madoi uh, with the original starter from Back in G. And that is your foil right line. Your foil right line. I'll move those aside. Next up, we got the OG. OG, stealth dragon, the Nui. original. Not Obero. <clears throat> it's also not a demon stealth dragon, so you cannot ride this um, when you have your crest. We'll talk about that later. Um, but it says whenever you have a dominating attacks, this will have continuous plus 10 on rear guard. And when you ditch it for stride, you get the draw card. You get three of those. Technically four, we'll get to that later. Um, next, we got a new card, Stealth Dragon Sakai. And this is where Shit goes they should have stopped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they should have stopped. They should have stopped because this card says oh, when your Vanguard attacks, if you're uh, if a dominated unit attack this turn, you can Soul Blast one to stand this unit. And if your G zone has two or more face up cards, you get to draw a card and give it plus 10. So it's very similar to Morphessa's where you need the GB2, not GB2 effect. But it's like Morphessa where the five isn't locked to it. The restand is not locked to it, which I mean, my opinion is a lot better. Def definition of better is... Uh, Honestly, they really should have reversed that. Yeah. The, the power is draw and power should have not been locked to GB and the restand should have been locked to GB. Yeah. But it's here. It is, it is what it is. You got four copies of it. Go to town. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next up, we got Stealth Dragon Four Eye. Uh, it got retrained, and his new effect is when a shoot when this unit ugh, continuous event rear guard. This unit gains power five k for each time a dominated unit attacks this turn. Yeah, I think it's it can get big. It can get big, and then auto rear guard once per turn when your vanguard attacks. If a dom it was dominated, if a unit dominated by you attacks this turn, you can soul blast one and stand this unit. So why not have another restanding? Unit that you have four copies of, so there's eight restanders in your deck, and you're probably going to put Esperaldias. So almost if, every one of your no, rear guards no. is going to restand. You don't necessarily need to, but, but it was before the second card, which was I forgot what this name is. Yeah. It was uh, before that card was revealed. We only saw this one first, so we already knew. Okay, we got fourth attacker. Esperaldia was going to be the fifth attacker. Yeah. The moment they revealed this one. We now have two restanding attacks just mm -hmm. on the stride deck set alone. And these are not counting the dominated attacks. And these are arguably better because um, Soji Toji support is really good because, you know, it searches all stealth cards. Mm -hmm. Every card in this deck is a stealth dragon. Every every stealth. Here, so everything Soji Toji supports is just bonkers in this deck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so like. Realistically, if you do, if if you don't, you don't really need Esperelius. If you want to, for tech purposes, you absolutely can pick them up and yes. lay it down the line when Triple Booster comes out. You know, have at it. But just off of these two alone, like you can look at some of the world's lists, people don't use them. Also, like the foiling pattern in the shoes. Yeah, the foil pattern has been nice. Shadow but glass. yeah, the fact that they gave Shirinu two restanders straight out of the box is nuts. Yeah, especially when you consider the dominating is also multi attack. So you're yeah, like least... minimum, minimum. If they get dominated, if you're, you can dominate your opponent, the minimum five attacks are coming. No, seven. 
That's why I said minimum from your thing. Like, oh, from you, yeah, yeah, from you alone is you know from you alone is five. Uh, let's talk about the other card that's going to be expensive in this deck, <laughs> which is the the PG because it is the first stealth dragon or stealth card PG that has the good PG effect. So these can be great in this deck, but not only this, but they're great in um, Soji Doji as well. Give me one of that. I'm, I'm gonna look it up right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> so um, these are gonna be really good. Um, They'll probably go up in price just because if Soji Doji is still relevant because it won Worlds, so you're probably gonna want these. Yeah, uh, Soji Doji winning Worlds was complete uh, bonkers, but uh, shout out to the guy who won. Uh, but we got more in the deck than just that PG. Next up, we got Stealth Beast Kaganotsui. I can't remember how to say this. Ka- Jesus Christ, Foiling. Kadagatsu. I think that's how you say it. Anyways, uh, auto and auto. continuous in hand. Uh, while paying a cost for stride, it counts as a grade three. And then also you can discard this card from your hand if you have the crest to search your deck or drop for up to one card with Demon Stealth Dragon Shirinui in his card name. Put into your hand, shuffle your deck. Yeah, it was your OG stride fodder that has been retrained. Uh, but this will be important because unlike Luard, you're going to kind of need those for your end game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the trial deck version, the shiny version is about 10. The original common version is about three. They'll probably go up eventually. Yeah. Uh, next up, we got another new card. Stealth Dragon Zanki. Uh, not to be confused with the other Zanki. Yeah, not not the actual Oberos Zen- or sure no Zanki. Uh, this is got a it's a grade one with continuous rear guard. When this unit this unit gains power 5k for each time an attack unit dominated by you hits. So, Keyword is the hits, so yeah. Depending you, depending on you, is how big it gets. Yeah, um, that's n- you're never gonna really care about that for this card. If you're running this, you're caring about the other effect, which is auto once per turn, GB one when your unit attack hits, soul charge one, mm-hmm. and you get four copies of that. Now for when I consider one of the most bonkers cards in the deck. <laughs> oh yeah, this. Uh, you got Stealth Dragon Tenrai. It's a grade one. Uh, auto when it's placed on rear guard. If you have a stealth dragon, sure, new crest counter boss one, draw a card, and then auto when a dominated unit attack hits, you get to put it, return it back to your hand. Mm-hmm. Uh, just a good draw engine. Um, you can put them in early game, they're not GB restricted at all. So you just play, draw, play, draw. And if later in the game, if something hits for dominated attack, you just bounce it back, plug, call, draw because dominating all happens in the main phase. So you can just get multiple procs off of this card in one turn, correct? So, really good. Next oh. up, you got your triggers. So we're gonna start off with a common version of um, Dragon Vita. Uh, you got your stealth. There you go. Your stealth uh, crits. You got four copies of those. You got three copies of your stealth draw triggers. Four copies of your stealth uh, front triggers. And guess what the heal trigger is. Oh, guess what? Also, it's stealth. also still. <laughs> <laughs> if you you know got to stick with the theme here, you got four copies of those. Uh, so lastly, we're gonna move on to the strides. We're gonna start off with Mog and Timbu first, because this is gonna be the first stride you're gonna go into. Um, it's a simple skill. It's dominate on act. Can I rest one? Uh, choose guardian G's and face up. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards, dominate it, and attacks one of their under units, and win at the end, end of the turn. Is it in a turn or win it? End of the battle, you get to retire the dominated unit. Yeah. So, on stride, you're going to use Obero, dominate, and then you're going to use this and dominate again, too. You get to attack with your opponent's rear guard twice. Mm-hmm. So, even without having rear guard, you're getting three attacks. Yeah. Like, in. And the fact that uh, Shirinui allows you to get enough something back, so even if your opponent decides like I want to completely nuke my field, yeah, you know, it's, it's so, always going to get something. So I say, unless they're just riding for free the entire game, they're going to be discarding for the right deck. So you're going to have at least a trigger, and we'll talk about when we get to the crest that even a trigger can kill your opponent. Yeah, um, that, that's that's also where it got stupid. Uh, so we got four copies of this, and then of course the last copy is the SP treatment. I love the added this deep red yeah, text that down here nice. that like fades into a black almost mm-hmm. whenever the light hits it 
That looks so nice. That does look nice. And then you see like the whole ring here pattern for the mm -hmm. SD in the background. There you go. Thanks. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I got four of those. And then the big boy himself, you got Shirinui Bukuro. He's been reworked as well. He has a skill of dominate act. Once per turn, GB2, Soul Blast 1. Choose a card. <laughs> so no discarding the card. No Soul Blast 2, just Soul Blast 1. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards. Stand it, dominate it, and it attacks your opponent's vanguard. At the end of that battle, dominate and stand all of your opponent's vanguards, and they attack your one um they attack your opponent's rear guard. You also get to perform the drive checks of their vanguard. The rear guard, meaning that one singular, is it did they the ruling is that one single it attacks a rear guard, a single rear guard. Okay, so yeah, you, so it's not or you attack all of them. It's just you can choose if they have more than one. You have more than one, but yes. you can choose. You know, exactly. Um, so with strong the stride, you're gonna get three dominates. Mm -hmm. This with your vanguard, you get their drive checks. So you can put on your, you can put all the drive checks from your vanguard's drive your opponent's vanguard's drive checks onto your rear guards that are gonna restand with all those triggers on them. <laughs> Because you know that's fair. Yeah, <laughs> you no. Three, uh, four copies of them, and of course the SP, which looks. And you so keep saying it's ASP, but it's technically a trial deck rare. This is seriously a little trial deck rare. Oh my god, it's an <laughs> SP. <laughs> I'm gonna call it an SP because it looks SP. It, looks it is a trial deck rare. It looks beautiful. And then of course you can't talk about this deck. Without having the crest, your stride license, your way to play this deck, the whole gimmick of it. Um, it does the whole spiel of the other ones, except there's a little slight tweak on this one. So the 5k that you give to your front row is only to your front row, not your opponent's front row when you dominate them. Thank the Lord. So dominated units will not get the plus five that stacks from the crest. Correct. Why is this not fun? Um, but there is another clause. Uh, it has during your turn, your opponent's units placed by cards abilities this turn and units dominated by you lose all their continuous and autos, but they also gain plus five. Mm -hmm. Meaning if you use an Obero and you dominate, say even a trigger, let's say a 4K, means it's become a 9K, which means it's going to become a 13K because 4K from Britain. So even a 4K trigger is will hit just your barely enough to hit which can be very annoying which that was the sad part about yes um but you don't get their you don't get to use their rear guard skills against them because it shuts off their continues and autos correct correct but it, it Dude, also okay, means, little, imagine in bastion mm -hmm. the grade three i forgot what his name but the 28k bastard <laughs> if it oh my god they didn't yeah no 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 like if it didn't because it's a continuous ability if they didn't get put that clause that like you, you, you lose the continuous ability, that 28k bastard was going to be annoying. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, this, this is dumb. Um, it's not as dumb as it could be, but it is dumb. And then lastly, we got three more Genkai's and another copy of Shirinui, just like the other one. So we can make this a 50 card deck and give you options in case you know, you want to change them out. Which let's be fair. Every single one of these decks is going to get tweaked. Yeah. That's what I'm setting that Genkai is going to get probably kicked to the bucket for Osoji Doji, but hey, I'm a Soji Doji main, so <laughs> I'm not <laughs> complaining too much. But yeah, that was it for Shirin and Luard. You can pick up these decks if you're interested at 50cards.com. So where we got ours and they were grateful to let us, you know, mm -hmm. open these up and everything. Um, got it out pretty fast to us. Got it pretty fast and they'll get it pretty fast to you too. Um, so go check them out. Um, use TD code TDH heroes. I think it is. I'm sure Philip will probably yeah. Philip will put the whole code. Down uh, but at the put bottom. the user code. Uh, I can give you a discount. Um, with that, we'll wrap it up here. Yes, because we're about to go change the meta. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to say we're gonna go uh, wreck people's souls. I already ruined my locals last night with my Lord. So I'm sure sure he knew he's not gonna make it any better. Oh no, sure we know it's just gonna make it worse. And there's a lot of people that are already like, yeah, I'm just skipping this whole meta until we get a next until the next format comes out. Yeah. Which would be the Divine Z. Yes. But until then, have fun with your playing uh, suffering. Playing solitaire with your opponent's units. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and uh this is been Alex. I've been Hector. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.
Bye. 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 ASMR. Um, the moment fun, this was there. You know, really having fun with that one. Uh, did you hit the red button?